Table breaks. We can break a table so that it splits and so that the table has the ability to uh, tile outwards. And we can select our table. And when we select the table, depending on our table direction, we will get one down here. And we hover, it says table breaking inactive. Click and drag to set break height. So when I click on this arrow here, and I move it upwards, you'll see that the table splits and it's showing up on the right. So I'll pick, and I'm just going to pick a point with my left mouse button, and so now it split the table and it moved the data over here. And when I hit, hit outside or hit escape now, uh, and I say, well, I want to add a new row below, you know, it adds the new row. And I can keep adding rows. Uh, hang on here and so I'll click on it I'll click in this row and I'm going to add insert below and it just keeps inserting below but now you can see that the height I'm creating a third set over here so I can change I can pick on my table and I can grab this table break and I can make it a little bit longer and now I can break it back down to two tables. So this is really handy if it goes to the end of a page, a sheet of paper, and you need to have it go up to the top again and start going down. You don't have to actually bust your table. It actually just wraps around. So table breaks are you pick on the table, and then at the bottom of the table direction, there'll be a table break and then you can just actually stretch it out and it'll go back to one or you can grab it and go into how many t table sections you want so table w table breaks are a way that we can uh, break our table into different sections